we're as close to as smart as we think we are. It's the problem, the James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks. Imagine you're flipping through an ancient family album, except this album is not just about your ancestors, but about the entire universe. How did everything begin? Where do the stars and galaxies we see today come from? This is the journey the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, embarks on. A mission of scientific exploration and extraterrestrial archaeology. Launched with the dream of unmasking the mysteries of the early universe, JWST peers back over 13.5 billion years to a time when the first galaxies were taking their baby steps in the vast cosmic playground. Why is this important, you might ask? Because understanding where we come from tells us about who we are and, perhaps, where we are headed. Shall we begin? The early years of the universe were like a hidden chapter of a story we've always wanted to read. For a long time, we couldn't see what happened right after the universe started. We used telescopes like Hubble to look at stars and galaxies, but the farther back we wanted to look, the harder it got. Sort of like using a flashlight in a dark room, the light only goes so far. That's how it was with our old telescopes when trying to see the beginnings of the world. Enter the game changer, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Now, imagine swapping that flashlight with a massive lighthouse beam so bright that it could illuminate even the deepest, darkest corners of our universe's infancy. You see, Hubble showed us amazing pictures and taught us a lot about space, but that just wasn't enough. It couldn't be, because we simply couldn't see back to the very early times of the universe. The JWST changed all that. It's a much more powerful telescope, designed to see further back in time than ever before. It can look at the light from the first galaxies that formed after the universe began, the JWST can see through clouds of dust in space that older telescopes couldn't, showing us new stars being born and giving us a clearer picture of how galaxies like our own Milky Way started. When the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, took its first deep field image in June 2022, it was a massive moment for everyone who studied space and the whole of humanity. This image was special because it showed us galaxies so far away, some of which we were seeing for the first time. One of the galaxies we found in this image was named Maisie's Galaxy, named after the daughter of the astronomer Stephen Finkelstein, who discovered it. It was an exciting find, because at first, scientists thought this galaxy was formed just 290 million years after the Big Bang. That's very early in the history of the universe, which is about 13.8 billion years old. But after looking more closely, they realized it was actually about 390 million years old. Even with this correction, Maisie's galaxy is still one of the oldest galaxies we've ever seen. But Maisie's galaxy wasn't the only significant discovery. The JWST found hundreds of galaxies that appeared very quickly after the universe began. This was surprising because it means galaxies started forming sooner and more rapidly than we thought. Some of these galaxies were so big and had so many stars that they made scientists question our current understanding of how galaxies form and grow. Finding galaxies that formed sooner after the Big Bang then was particularly interesting because we used to believe that galaxies took a longer time to form. Knowing this now, what does this mean for us? Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, astronomers can now see the weak light from stars in these early galaxies. This light tells us about the first stars. These stars weren't the mild-mannered types. They were massive, hot-headed, lived fast, and died young, going out with a bang in supernova explosions. These dramatic exits scattered the cosmos with heavy elements. JWST has also allowed scientists to study the space between galaxies, known as the intergalactic medium. This helps us learn about its temperature how dense it is, and what it's made of back in the early universe. This information is key to understanding how the universe's first structures came together and changed over time. And just when you thought the universe couldn't get any more extra, JWST detected complicated organic molecules in youngsters' galaxies. Yes, the building blocks of life were not only present, but possibly trending in the universe's infancy. 
This has astrobiologists going insane. They're even considering updating their resumes to include time travel. Could life have started earlier than our Earth-centric view imagined? In simple terms, it's like we've been using an old map to find treasure. And JWST just showed us that the treasure is in places we didn't even think to look. Now scientists are super excited, but a bit puzzled. Now they're going to have to redraw the map of where galaxies are and how they grow up so quickly. Where do they even start? One of the most intriguing discoveries is a barred spiral galaxy named Sears 21 to 12. Finding such in a galaxy at the edge of the universe is surprising because barred spiral galaxies, like our Milky Way, are thought to have more mature structures. Seeing one that formed so early in cosmic history suggests that galaxies can develop complex features much faster than we thought. Imagine finding skyscrapers in a city you thought was only capable of building huts so soon after its foundation. The telescope has also helped us fine-tune our understanding of the Hubble constant, the pace at which the universe is spreading out. Before, different ways of measuring this speed didn't always agree. But now, thanks to the telescope's sharp observations of far-off star explosions and changing stars, we're getting everyone on the same page about how quickly everything is moving apart. Also, this telescope is doing wonders for our alien hunt by snapping clear pictures of planets beyond our solar system and dissecting their atmospheres. By examining the chemical mix in the air of these distant worlds, scientists are inching closer to figuring out which ones might host life. But with all this advanced tech pointing us to potentially habitable planets, we can't help but wonder. If JSWT is revealing so much, what are we still not seeing? Could there already be signs of alien life we've missed, or perhaps chosen to overlook? These large and mature galaxies give us new insights into the conditions of the early universe. Take dark matter, for instance. Dark matter is a type of matter that makes up about 85% of the matter in the universe. It's called dark because it doesn't emit, absorb, or reflect light making it invisible and hard to detect except through its gravitational effects on visible matter. Dark matter plays a crucial role in the universe, influencing the structure and evolution of galaxies. It acts like a scaffold around which galaxies form and grow. Recent discoveries made by the JWST have demonstrated that in some early galaxies, baryonic matter, also known as ordinary matter, seemed to be dominating the evolution rather than dark matter. This is surprising because, according to current cosmological models, dark matter's gravitational pull is what helped pull together the gas and dust to form stars and galaxies in the first place. If ordinary matter played a more significant role than dark matter in some cases, it could mean our models need adjustment. This new information doesn't fit well with the standard model of cosmology. The standard model is a theory that explains how the universe expanded from a very hot and dense state after the Big Bang and how galaxies and other structures formed over time. According to this model, it takes a lot of time for galaxies to grow to the size of the ones JWST found in the universe's early years. But let's face it, when we compare these models to the actual observations from JWST, there are holes. Holes that are way too jarring to ignore especially regarding the size and maturity of galaxies in the early universe. JWST's deep field images have provided a new perspective on cosmic filaments, the largest structures in the universe, composed mostly of dark matter. These observations have allowed scientists to directly see how these filaments channel gas into galaxies, fueling their growth and evolution in a process known as cosmic web accretion. The discoveries made by JWST have also sparked interest in the role of dark energy, the mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. By examining the distribution and shape of distant galaxies, JWST is contributing to our understanding of dark energy's influence on the large-scale structure of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has already started to change how we understand the universe. Now we can finally solve some of the biggest mysteries about how stars, galaxies, and other cosmic structures formed and evolved. Many are excited about the future, are you? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more.